What's going on guys, John Kelly here, and I'm in the midst of getting ready for a backpacking trip, a few days out in the Red River Gorge with some buddies of mine. But before I leave on this trip, I wanted to do a little video. And the video is about some really cool carbon fiber trekking poles. Before we go too far into this though, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe today so you can find out anytime one of these videos drops by hitting that notification bell after you subscribe. And if you like the video, give it the old thumbs up. Let me know whether or not you like the video. And if you wanna give it a thumbs down, do that. You wanna be that guy. A few months ago, like a lot of YouTubers, I got an email from a company wanting me to do a video about their gear. Now, I'll be honest, a lot of times when you get those emails, they're coming from Japanese companies that are trying to sell you some real garbage but want you to give them some really nice Amazon feedback, even if you don't like it. Typically, I just kind of send back the I'm not interested email, but I got this one from a company called Tac Niner. And the only reason that I went ahead and responded to them was because Bryce Newbold had done a video about these very same trekking poles. And I figured if Bryce is willing to check them out, I should probably check them out. Now, what I will say is I told them I'm not guaranteeing I'm even gonna do a video or a review because if I don't like something, I don't wanna talk about it on my channel. So they shot me the trekking poles and here they are. These are the Tac Niner carbon fiber trekking poles. The first thing I noticed about these trekking poles was just how small they break down to. I mean, it's just a little over a foot wide. So that's really nice if you're trying to pack these away at the end of the day or if you're doing some road walking and you're not really using your trekking poles. Uh, these really break down nicely. The other thing I really like about these is the weight. When I weighed these on my scale, they weighed out to be about eight ounces a piece. Uh, according to their website, they weigh in at 7.4 ounces, but on my scale, it said eight ounces. Now maybe that's without the, uh, the little cup here on the end, probably without this little rubber piece here too, so it may be closer to 7.4 ounces, but when I weighed them how I use them, about eight ounces. I was amazed just at how much lighter these really did feel. They're also very rigid, so um, that was that was kind of interesting to me. I'm used to the trail shocks that give just a hair. I was surprised at how much I liked the rigidity of these things and just how durable they actually are. Um, I've gotten these stuck a few times in some rocks and they've not snapped, nothing. And I've heard with carbon fiber poles, there's no bend, it's immediate break. And up to this point, I've been using them since about March. I've had no problems whatsoever. I'm actually taking them back with me out on the trail this week when I go down to the Red River Gorge. But these are good poles, I really like them a lot. If you've never used a Z-Pole before, if you've always used like the Flick Locks or the Twist Locks, one of the real cool things about this is how easy these poles come together. It's real simple, straighten it out, pull this piece down until everything clicks into place. It's got a little groove right in here. I don't know if you can see that or not, if it's gonna come into focus. All right, right there. See that little, little knob right there? It'll click into place for you. And then you've got the flick lock right here and pull it out to your desired height. According to their website, these will fit anybody from five foot five to six foot five. Uh, really easy to switch the size of them and you can lock them into place and you don't have to worry about changing them. If you like yours at 115 centimeters, you leave it at 115 centimeters and you expand it when you need to. Uh, if, if you like them at 135, all you have to do is go ahead and set this where you want it. It's still the same process of putting them together, just simply pulling them and locking them. These things are fantastic. And like I said, they're super light, super well balanced and extremely comfortable. As far as negatives go, uh, one of the things I'm not crazy about these are the straps. They're just kind of like ribbon. They're not really very thick. Uh, there's no padding at all. I'm not real crazy about them. I guess I got kind of spoiled with my black diamonds, but uh, the straps aren't the best, but I guess really for some people that doesn't matter. But for me, I kind of got used to the nicer straps. Um, you can adjust them. It does have a tab here where you can pull and you can adjust these. But for me, I just, uh, I, I'm not crazy about these. Another thing that I would I would like to see changed about them and something I wish I would have had in my black diamond poles are uh, cork handles. I got to borrow a friend's cork handled trekking poles. I think he had some leckies and I got to use those lecky, lakey, leaky, probably not leaky. Lecky, lakey, leaky? Yeah, it's, it's definitely not leaky. 
I got a chance to use his poles and uh, I really liked that cork handle. It really kept your hands from sweating as much because the cork sucked up a lot of that sweat so your hands didn't get that weird sticky gross wet feeling at the end of the day. And when you're hiking in Kentucky and it's 90 some degrees outside, your hands are gonna sweat pretty freaking bad. Something else I really liked about these poles when they came in, uh, they came in a carrying bag that also had more of these little guards right here. Uh, some that are the smaller ones, which I personally like to use, as big as the ones you would see for people that are skiing. They're made for different kinds of terrain and they're all interchangeable. You can take them off very easily and put them back on. It's really nice what all this comes with. Like I said, for a, a trekking pole that only weighs in around eight ounces, seven and a half to eight ounces, you really can't go wrong with these. And the best part about these is they come in at $40. If you're to look into some more expensive carbon fiber poles, you're gonna look at at least $100 a pair, if not two, and in some cases, $250 to $300 for a pair of carbon fiber trekking poles. These have incredible quality. I've not had them slip out of place. They click right in and they feel stable. They feel rigid, which I really, really like. Also, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I dig on the red and black and gray. Those are the colors I like to carry with me when I do everything. My hammocks, my uh, quilts, everything, my backpack even. I have them in red and black and gray. Those are the colors I like, and it just so happens that these trekking poles are those colors. So obviously I'm gonna like that. But if you're someone who doesn't like red, well, you're kind of out of luck because it's the only color they come in. If you're someone who's interested in getting into trekking poles, you've not used them up to this point, you'd like to save your ankles and your knees a little bit when you're hiking, and you'd like to try some out for the first time, you ought to check these out. For $40, you get a pair of high quality carbon fiber trekking poles don't weigh a lot and honestly I've been using them for several months now and the worst thing that's happened is a little bit of paints rubbed off uh, they're strong they've held up and they do their job I actually like the trekking pole so much I talked to tech niner and I said would it be possible if I do a video for these if you guys would allow me to give away a pair of your trekking poles immediately i mean i'm talking within hours i heard back from the company saying absolutely so today i'm giving away a pair of these tac niner z poles these carbon fiber z poles to one of you there's only two things that matter if you want to be in this giveaway one you got to be a subscriber if you're not a subscriber you're going to be out of luck besides why aren't you subscribed Subscribe to the channel, do it now, it's right there, there's a button, you're looking at it, hit it, and hit the bell notification. It's easy, it doesn't take any of your time. I mean, the video's, you're not missing the video, you just do it during the video. You can, I mean, twiddle your thumbs and accidentally hit the subscribe button. What's it gonna hurt you? You're just gonna find out whenever my videos come out, that's, you know you want to. Not only do you have to be a subscriber, but I want you to leave a comment, and in that comment, I want you to tell me two things. One, why do you want these trekking poles? And two, what is your favorite video that you have watched on this channel? I'm always looking for feedback from you guys as to the videos you're looking for to be put out every single week. So leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and you may end up with a pair of these Tac Niner carbon fiber trekking poles. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know you liked it. Also leave comments below because like I said, you can't win the trekking poles if you don't leave a comment. And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I'll catch you on the next go around. Uh, because I'd, I'd really just tongue tied myself and couldn't get the words out to finish what my brain was trying to say. Cause you know, why would I want to do that? The first thing I noted about the, noticed about, <laughs> I noted, let's get these off here. I'm not gonna touch those anymore. Prized at how much, uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Just hit the microphone. They really do feel lighter when you're carrying them out. It, you, I can't say words. They have not broken. Man, I can't get the words out. Words suck.